every equipment manufactured by man has an end of its life. When an electrical surge which has energy level beyond the lightning arrested capability is diverted to ground results in pressure relief event and at the same time creating a dead short circuit. Thus, the end of life event of a lightning arrester results in tripping of a grid circuit due to breaker operation. In late 1930s, a need was felt in developing a device which can disconnect the lightning arrester from the line when a heavy electrical surge passes through it. Hi, my name is Shatadal Das. Today we will look into an explosive product which is also known within lightning protection experts as ground lead disconnector. During the summer of 1939, Ralph Earl filed a patent on a device which he named as automatic circuit interrupting device, which was awarded patent in US in 1942. This design is based on the cartridge design and the entire assembly of disconnector including the lightning arrester was inside a porcelain assembly sealed by a gasket. Now we will explore what construction elements form the part of a disconnector. Disconnectors can be categorized as cartridge design and oxidizer design based on how the disconnection operation happens. Cartridge type uses a tiny bullet for creating the explosion and oxidizer design uses a strong oxidizing chemical which is ignited by a spark for creating explosion. These are the basic structure of a disconnector. If we refer the cartridge design, there is a steady state element which is usually a resistor or varistor or capacitor to transfer the normal duty leakage current into the ground. The surge component which is a spark gap will take care of the surge current into the ground and will also act as a trigger for separation element. The separation element is a bullet cartridge which will fire when heated for a prolonged period. Note that here the separation element is electrically and physically connected in the circuit. Now moving to the oxidizer design which is slightly different compared to the cartridge design. The steady state component and surge component doing the same primary function but now the steady state component acts as a trigger. The separation element which is a strong oxidizer will fire when energized at appropriate thermal and electrical condition. Note that here the separation element is only physically connected in the circuit. Now let's see how these two designs are implemented in an actual disconnector. This is first type of disconnector based on cartridge design. Under normal duty, the leakage current flows through the wire wound resistor indicated as the blue unit. Under surge condition, higher amount of current flows through the resistor thereby increasing the voltage drop across the spark gap, thus causing the spark gap to transfer most of the fault current to earth. If the duration of the fault current lasts longer, then the spark assembly and the resistor get heated, thus activating the cartridge. The cartridge then blasts off the disconnector assembly, making visible permanent disconnection. This is another type of disconnector, again based on cartridge design. Look at its operation. The placement of the cartridge is different than the previous design, but the disconnection happens when the entire assembly heats up due to excessive flow of surge current, thus causing visible permanent disconnection. This is second type of disconnector which is based on oxidizer design. Look at its operation. The placement of the oxidizer is outside the spark gap covering the resistor. Its principle of operation is same to the extent of its electrical function but this design is different when it comes to disconnection operation. 
when the surge current starts to flow for a prolonged duration will ignite the oxidizer creating an internal pressure thus making the entire assembly explode this results in a visible permanent disconnection before we wrap up let's have a quick look on the most essential design aspects of the disconnector number 1 being spark gap and electrode material type number 2 being resistance and wattage of the bypass element number 3 being quantum of the separation element in case of cartridge the size number 4 being the disconnector housing material a selection of thermoplastic or thermoset polymer can be considered number 5 being the sealant type with preference to structural sealant so we have come to the end of this video i hope this video was informative please like this video give your valuable comments and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you